I want to talk about Byron Castillo. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, first off, if you're Ecuadorian, you absolutely know who Byron Castillo is. He's kind of one of the stars for the national team, plays at the right back position. And he was the guy that was involved at this giant scandal where basically the Chilean FA was trying to claim that he was Colombian and get oh them kicked God. out of the World Cup. Yeah. I've, I've made a full video about that. There's probably a hundred videos about that out now. So we don't have to go into that. But anyways, the guy's been through a lot recently is what I'm trying to say. And I was pretty surprised when I found out that Byron transferred to Leon in Mexico. Um, I, I, I kind of feel personally very conflicted about this transfer. And I'd love to hear how most Ecuadorians are feeling about this. I mean, let us know in the comments, please, how, how you guys are feeling about this transfer. Because I feel like Castillo has proved at the international level and also, also at Barcelona and Ecuador that he's European quality. And yeah. I think it's a little perhaps concerning uh, as an Ecuador fan that his backup, Preciado, is playing over in Gank. And I love Preciado. Like, no, no. I'm not trying to throw any shade on him at all. I think it's I think it's unfortunate that they have two really really good options at the right back position. But I wonder in terms of like the national team over the next 4 years, you know, you got the World Cup obviously coming up and then the Copa America after that. I wonder <laughs> if the fact that he's gone to Mexico instead of going to Europe, I wonder if that's going to affect his game time with the national team, especially Preciado you know, either starts killing it at Gank or even moves on to perhaps a bigger club somewhere else in Europe. I just felt like I don't know how to compare the Ecuador League to Liga Mekis. I would probably say aggregate Liga Mekis is stronger. But if I'm taking the top four clubs, five clubs from each, I don't know enough to say, like, this was a good move. Like, he's going to a better league and more competitive environment because especially the CONCACAF Champions League it, it doesn't compare no to the even the Sudamericana it, it just doesn't no it's not no, a good not tournament and no. so that's a bit concerning for me because I feel like that's where people a lot of these South American diamonds in the rough that's where a lot of them make a name for themselves in the Copas in in, in, in South America and now he's kind of gone to Mexico and I'm sure it's a great contract I'm sure he's making money he started today um, I actually, I actually watched his debut. It happened earlier today. He was all right. He did score, and he scored an own goal. Like, oh shit! It was just like the classic Byron Castillo game where, offensively, he looks really good, but defensively, he just like gets caught napping once or twice, like every single game. That's like my biggest problem with Castillo, that's and maybe that's why he didn't go to Europe. Um, but I really, I really hope that this hasn't killed the chance to go to Europe. He's still 23. So yeah. there's still time. He's there's a lot yeah, of time. Yeah, he's young. He's still got he's probably he could be as old as 25, 26 and still go. Um but we know that the, these Mexican teams they don't like to sell either. Yeah. I was going to say that is probably the biggest like I I wouldn't be worried about him uh breaking into the starting lineup. He'll probably get there just from his past performances alone for a while, but um I mean the fact if you've got a guy delivering the exact same stats, the exact same performances at Gank over across the pond as, you know, a guy playing in Mexico, you're you're gonna take the guy at Gank. Like you would think no, so. No yeah. offense, no offense to the Mexican league, but I mean, if if they hold him out, I'm scared that they're going to strangle him and uh make him fit the Mexican mold uh instead of you know, trying to expand his game, which he's got an enormous amount of potential. The guy's really young. Yeah. He's talented. And yeah, one own goal on a debut is not going to kill you in the crib. But I mean, I, I don't know. I would hate it would be a tragedy to watch this man go over there and find contentment. Yes. You should strive for more. Contentment is the opposite of progress and happiness. So yeah. I, I'm really I'm really nervous about that. But I mean, the fact that he's got interest internationally is impressive. Hopefully he uh, hopefully he can turn that into something and he won't get locked down by the, you know, the Mexican Federation over there. Yeah, I'm also a little shocked by the the transfer. I saw four million for the deal, which for for Leon, I feel like it's a steal. That is a steal. Ecuadorian yeah. starting right back for four mil. 
I mean, that's that's damn good business. That is I, I damn good business. I feel like Ecuador, that league, I think y'all need to start evaluating your players a little bit better. Um, this oh, reminds yeah. me of like when Celtic, who we were just talking about, when they sold like three players for a combined 3.5 mil to Celtic. And I'm like, these are Japanese nationals. Like, you can't be selling them for a mil each. You can't be no. selling Ecuador's, not their best fullback, that's just Stupignan, but their second best fullback for four mil at 23 no. years old? You got to be thinking about the resale value for Leon down the road, too, whether that's to Europe, back to South America, to another Liga Mekis club. I, yeah. I just, I mean, it's, it's a robbery. As far as I'm concerned, it's it an absolute robbery. robbery. 100%. Completely agreed. Well, I wish him the best, and uh, I don't know. He's he's got the potential. He's gonna have to pull himself uh, up by his bootstraps and uh, get something going on. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think he'll do fine in Liga Mekis. I think he will, he will be one of Leon's best players. Yeah. I just really hope, like you said, I I hope he doesn't get comfortable. I hope his eye is still on going to Spain or something like that. And because uh, that's I what hope, he deserves. That's yes. what his ceiling looks like. You know, that is that's his ceiling. Yes, absolutely.